The Smart Board Revolution Google Plus Community presents a Smart Survival Guide. I'm your host, Matt Granger, and this episode is customizing the tools. And by that, we're talking about the pens, the shapes, the fonts, and the lines. I'm talking about most of these right up here. Let's start with the pens. Now, you already have a red, blue, green, black pen. So if you need any of those colors, you pick it up. However, when you pick up the pen, what are your choices? Black, red, green, blue. There's four of them already. You've got eight here, eight options that you can activate by just selecting them. I don't know about you, I rarely need a pink dotted line or a black dashed line. You can customize those colors and thicknesses. If I want red, I'll pick up a red pen. If I want green, I'll pick up the green pen. I don't need it up here. I can customize these. Maybe I do want those colors, but maybe I want them thicker or thinner. So to do that, we're going to open our Properties tab. The Properties tab is right here. And by the way, we're talking about customizing them permanently. Yes, I can come in and change to a different color and a different line thickness and a different line style temporarily and boom there's what I get the next time I pick up that black pen I put it down and then pick it back up I, I get black again we're talking about permanently customizing and changing what's up here and by permanent I mean obviously you can go in and change it at any other time again you select one of the boxes and you go to the properties tab here we can select our color our thickness and our style so let's say fine maybe we want it black but we need a thicker black for something that we do a lot we need it thicker so I can select it it's still black I'm not changing the style down here is the key save tool properties now that I've changed something this button is active and when I click that you'll notice that it changed here the thickness if I pick up the pen from the tray or push the black color button on the tray I'm gonna get the normal black pen but if I pick up any pen regardless or my finger and I tap that square now I'm gonna get the thick so now I can do the red and maybe same thing maybe I I need the thicker for each of them. I don't need the pink dotty line. So maybe I need dark purple. And the regular thickness is fine. I don't want it to be dotted. I want it solid. Save tool properties. I don't need the black. Those are some options. Another thing you might want to do is have disappearing ink. So maybe your top row is your thicker ones, and maybe the bottom row will make that black regular thickness. But if I go to the fill effects, I can change the transparency. That's not what I'm looking for here, although that could be something. But here, enable ink to fade after you write it, and you've got your choice of two to 12 seconds so I'll just leave it at 6 save tool properties well now I have this black and when I write and after 6 seconds that black will disappear so maybe I want to do this now with a red fill effect enable fade save tool property as you use pens, you'll find out, you know, what, what do I need? What am I always trying to change? And wouldn't it be nice to have a pen that would do that for me? You come in and you customize them. I can do this here for the calligraphic pen. I can change those eight. I can do it for the crayon. I can do it for the highlighters. The paintbrush. The creative pen same process will apply so now that we understand how to do it select them over here and save tool property it's gonna be the same for our shapes you can't change the shape that it makes but 
when I use the circle here, and I'm going to grab here in the middle of the circle and, hey, what's going on? I can't move it because, as you can see, this is transparent. There is no white in there. It's only this black line. So the only way to move it is by grabbing the line. Maybe I want that. Maybe I don't. I could go in, click on the circle, go to the Properties tab. Now my fill effect here, I'm going to make it a solid fill with white. I'm going to leave the line the same, a black line. That's fine, unless I wanted it different. Down here is the key. Save Tool Properties. See the difference? It's got the white, and then these are still with kind of the gray background. Now, when I create that circle, I can grab it anywhere because it's no longer transparent. It's filled. There are times when you want it transparent. That's okay. But if you normally want them filled, that's a good option. So I could do that for any and all of the shapes if I wanted to. If I didn't want a pink heart, I could change that color. I could have a blue heart. So if I create one that's filled, but I need it to be empty, not filled, empty on the inside, I create it as normal, select the shape, come here to the properties tab, and then in the fill effects, I come down here and change it to no fill. And now you can see that it's transparent. It's showing the blue. It's not really transparent, but there's no fill. So now I can't drag it from the middle because there's nothing to grab onto. I have to grab the line again. The blue heart, it's filled with the blue. If I wanted it not filled, properties tab, fill effect, no fill. And this works exactly the same for the polygon tool. Select one, go to the fill effects, solid fill, pick your color, save tool properties. So you can do that with the freehand shapes or the polygon tool. Works the same. So if that's something that you think would make using those shapes better for you and your students, get in there and customize them fonts. Here's your default font. If you just start typing, that's your default font. Black Arial 36. So I select any one of the six choices there. The first one is the default. Well, maybe I want it to be green. If I make a text box, right, I have these six choices, so I can select any of them. But if I just start typing, I'm going to get whatever that first one is. That's my default. I can change these others too to whatever. So I have other options that I can come up and select. But that is now the default anytime you start typing. You can customize any and all of the 10 preset line tools. If these lines don't do it for you, if you don't need a pink line segment, select any of the 10 choices open our properties tab here but maybe you do need line segments but you want it black change it from the pink you make it solid if you want your round dots at either end save tool properties so now that's a black line segment boom boom now notice with these they have transparency but not the disappearing So you customize those however you want. Now one other thing that you can do, some of you I know like the calligraphic pen because it makes the writing a little bit nicer and you want to make that the default pen. So every time you pick up a pen, that's what you get. The way to do that is in the Windows notification area at the bottom and you select the smart settings. Go to the smart hardware settings, the first one here, pen and button settings, a little checkbox here, use calligraphic ink. Now if you apply and then OK, now as soon as you pick up a pen, it defaults to the calligraphic pen.
And again, you can change these to be whatever you want. But now your pen is a calligraphic pen all the time. As you see yourself wanting certain things, doing certain things with the pens and the shapes, the lines, the fonts, etc. You want to customize some of those things. Get in there and do that. Make it yours. Make it work for you.